my disability is spina bifida. My spinal column wasn't fully formed at birth, which can cause different kinds of functional and sensation issues. I feel like I have many people in my life that are touch avoidant, that I could never ask for a hug. Being touched by doctors, obviously very clinical. Growing up with all those operations, having a family that did not value nurturing care, I probably in some ways have been seeking it out my whole life. I'm hoping that today, if there's anything that feels uncomfortable to you physically or emotionally, mm -hmm. you'll let me know. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm glad I can trust you to do that. Can I get another hug? Hello. Sorry. Thanks. Ah. Cuddlist is a way for people to get their touch needs met. It addresses touch deprivation and intimacy in a non-sexual, safe way. We make the intention for the time together to be nurturing, to be caring, to be close. The sessions are emotionally centered based on my emotional needs and requests. It's very healing for that time. I'm hoping that I can internalize the idea of safety, support. What I've heard from Steve is that he feels safe and he feels happy and joyful with being touched. And people sometimes have a misconception of, oh, isn't it sad you have to pay someone to touch you? Anything meant from the heart. Any touch meant from the heart. But I don't feel that way at all. There must have probably once been the same kind of stigma for going to see a counselor. Oh, sad that she has to see a counselor. Doesn't she have any friends who will listen to her or give her counsel? For me, touch can be as important as air or food. Touch is pretty much what I need most and what hasn't been in my life most. Having somebody care enough about me to spend time having their arms wrapped around me and supporting my needs is really great. I'm really proud of my clients, no matter who they are. Walking through the door and saying, I need to be touched, it's an act of courage and bravery, and I'm proud of them. <laughs>